Hello everyone. Welcome to our presentation. Uh, the topic of our current study is automatic detection of COVID-19 disease in chest X-ray images using deep neural network. Uh, what we are doing in this study is that uh, we have uh, got a chest X-ray image data set and we are implementing six different types of deep neural networks uh, in case of detecting the COVID-19 disease. This is the outline of our presentation. We'll first discuss about the motivation challenges and the objective of our current study. Then we'll briefly go for the existing liter literature works. After that, we'll discuss about the methodology of our, uh, of our current study. After after that, uh, we will go for will compare the results of different neural networks in case of uh, detection of COVID uh, nineteen disease. COVID nineteen was first reported in Wuhan in China in the December of two thousand nineteen. Since then, it has spread throughout the whole world like pandemic. The common clinical characteristics of COVID-19 include a range of symptoms mutual with other viral diseases such as the common cold. Now in this case, elderly people are considered to be highly prone to infection and severity due to their compromised immune system. Uh, instead of the PCR method, the radiography chest image analysis could be considered a, a valuable alternative method. Uh, due to uh, its powerful accuracy, deep learning approach can be successfully used uh, for medical image classification, which uh, would ultimately assist the diagnosis of the COVID-19 disease. So far, the standard process of uh, detecting COVID-19 case is the RT-PCR technique which involves in identifying the nucleotides of the virus from the specimens uh, extracted from the uh, nasal swabs. The major drawback of this process is that it's a time-consuming uh, and tedi tedious process and the fastest turnaround time is at least 24 hours. This is accompanied by other challenges like uh, increased number of specimens uh, and the process being laborious and relatively expensive and at the same time we have limited number of resources like testing kits and hospital beds and uh, ICU beds. Therefore to overcome those challenges uh, in our study we, uh, we are uh, we are implementing six different artificial deep learning networks uh, to detect the COVID-19 cases from the chest X-ray images. So far, Osterk et al. Uh, presented a darknet-based model uh, for detecting the COVID-19 cases and it achieved around 98.08% accuracy. On the other hand, Farooq et al. presented um, a, a ResNet 50 based model which performed well uh, in case of detecting COVID-19 case and in another study, a ChestNet based model was implemented which resulted in 97.8% accuracy. This flowchart briefly re represents the methodology we are using in this study. After getting the chest X-ray image, we uh, we under we do some pre-processing steps, which uh, we will discuss in our next uh, in our later slides. After pre -proce after pre-processing the chest X-ray images, we use uh, either of the six uh, neural network models like uh, 2D CNN, uh, ResNet 50, Inception ResNet V2, Inception V3, DanceNet 201, or MobileNet V2. Those six uh, neur neural networks are used as a classifier 
and uh, uh, depending on the input image they uh, show us result uh, based on whether the image is uh, related to COVID-19 case or the viral pneumonia or uh, normal case. The data set used in this study consists of uh, 2,905 posterior anterior or anterior posterior images. Those are basically chest x-ray images and those images are curated by Choudhury et al. Among those cases, uh, 219 images are COVID-19 cases. 1345 chest x-ray images are viral pneumonia cases and 1341 cases are uh, normal x-ray images. As mentioned earlier, before implementing the neural networks on the uh, chest x-ray image dataset, we have done the data preprocessing um, approach. Uh, this is done by uh, following the data augmentation methods. Data augmentation helps to enhance the effectiveness of the network. Uh, it also helps to resize the data set and make, and make it fit for the classification. And in case of uh, imbalanced data, uh, it helps the, uh, net the network to, uh, to increase the uh, classification accuracy. In case of augmentation, we have followed some steps like uh, we have uh, mod rotated the images randomly to 15 degrees clockwise and we have shifted the images by 10% of, the, of their original height and width. Uh, we have r randomly brightened or darkened the images to a range of uh, 0 to 50%. Uh, we also shared uh, the images with an angle of uh, 0.1 radius radians uh, in counterclockwise and also we randomly flipped horizontally or vertically the images. This slide shows the experimental conditions which is a machine configuration and the frameworks. Um, uh, the optimizer used in this uh, study is statistical gradient descent the learning rate is 0.0001 categorical cross entropy was used as loss function and the epoch is 60 and in this study the mini batch size is 4. this is a simplified confusion matrix it has four different aspects like uh, true positive true negative false positive and false negative. Now these four aspects are used to calculate the performance evaluation matrices that are used to, uh, to evaluate the performance of the neural networks we have implemented in this study. As we have an imbalanced data set, so rather than simply depending on the accuracy uh, of the model as a performance evaluation matrix, uh, we consider other matrices like uh, precision recall and F1 score to evaluate the performance of the neural network model. The four equations provided in this slide uh, are used to calculate those matrices. While implementing the deep neural network models in this study, we have used 80% of the data for training purpose. 10% for validation and 10% for testing purpose. This slide shows the overall performance of the six neural network based models. Uh, if we consider the accuracy then ResNet50 outperforms all the other neural network based models with an accuracy of 96.91%. The closest competitor of ResNet50 is DenseNet201, which has an ac accuracy of 96.22%. The model which performed the least is uh, the Inception V3, which has an accuracy of 94.16%. We also have some other performance evaluation parameters like uh, precision, sensitivity, specificity, 
F1 score and the uh, and the AUC. Com uh, comparing those parameters, ResNet 50 can be considered as uh, as a more effective model for detecting the COVID-19 cases from the chest X-ray images. Here are the confusion matrix for uh, uh, for uh, 2D CNN and the ResNet 50. Now we can see that uh, compared to the 2D CNN, uh, the ResNet 50 is more effective in case of detecting the COVID-19 cases among the other cases. And if we consider uh, Inception ResNet V2 and Inception V3 then we can see that uh, compared to the v2 the inception v3 is very effective in case of detecting the covid 19 cases and if we uh, put De dense net 201 and mobile net v2 side by side then we can see that both of them are effective in case of detecting the covid 19 cases but uh, the dense net outperforms the mobile net uh, in case of detecting the normal cases. This bar chart shows the accuracy comparison among the neural networks uh, which are implemented in this study. As mentioned earlier, ResNet 50 outperforms the other neural network based models uh, in, in case of accuracy with an accuracy which is close to 97%. So to sum things up, PCR test is considered to be the gold standard for detecting COVID-19 cases, uh, but it has a significant drawback which is its turnaround time which is around 24 hours. So instead of PCR test we try to use the deep neural networks to detect the COVID-19 cases from the chest x-ray data set. From our implementation and result analysis we found that ResNet 50 demonstrated best performance with, an class, uh, cl with a classification accuracy of 96.91% and its its closest competitors are DenseNet 201 and MobileNet V2 which has uh, a classification accuracies of 96.22 and 95.88 uh, percent so our future work includes uh, to extend our research by measuring the performance of the different algorithms with a larger uh, data set and observe the performance of those algorithms. Thank you.